Hey guys, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. In today's video, I am going to be talking about Pokemon for a change. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, as of yesterday for you guys, but today for me, we got a new trailer. So I'm going to play that in the background while you guys listen to me talk. Um, basically, what I'm going to be talking about is I am going to be telling you guys a little bit about what I'm going to be doing with this game, as well as um, do I think that this game is going to make up for the problems of last gen, basically Gen 7. Um, most people don't actually have problems with Gen 7, <laughs> I'm just weird, um, but most of my reasons for not liking it are very different from other people. Um, basically, I like Gen 7, specifically Sun and Moon. I do not like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, mostly because a lot of things were going on in my life at the time that those two came out, but also because there was a lot of things, like it felt like it was just a remake of the exact same game, just with a little bit extra. Um, and as long as they don't do that again, I think we're fine. I won't be too upset about it. Um, from what it looks like, it looks like this game is not going to be like Let's Go, which I don't really like. It just, I need my combat, people. And from what it looks like, it looks like we're not going to be seeing things like that, which I'm really happy for. Um, I mean, we still might, but I don't think that's going to happen right now. So, I don't know. But, um, I think it, I'm hoping that it will make up for the mistakes. I do like the giant Pokemon, because that's going on right now. That's a perfect thing to talk about. Um, I do like the giant Pokemon a lot more than the Z-moves. So, that's something. Um, I do want to see Mega Evolutions return. Don't know if that'll actually happen, but hey, I would like to see it. Um, but, yeah. I think that it looks great. It It's an open world, once again, which is fantastic. It, well, it's not open world, but it's similar. It's, it looks like it's going to be a good game for um, the Switch. So, let's talk about which Pokemon I am going to, well, which game I'm going to play. And I am going to be picking Sword. Um, I, I do like both Pokemon's designs, both of the legendary designs. Um, but I, I do like the Sword a little bit better. I think that it was really well designed, and I like the whole, um, uh, the Pegasus <laughs> wolf thing. I mean, it's kind of weird to see this wolf having a sword in its mouth, and this other wolf with a shield that just so happens to make it look like a freaking uh, a, a freaking lion. But it, it it it's a cool design. Both of them have cool designs, and I'm excited to see what they do with the future. Um, but yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I'll be pl uh, I will be playing Sword. Um, I might do a Let's Play of it on my Twitch and maybe here. Most of you guys don't watch my Let's Plays, though. Um, I've only made, like, two episodes of each of my Let's Plays. Well, three, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. And nobody watches those. So I'm not certain if you guys really want to see them. Um, I will continue, uh, I will continue to do my, uh, p uh, my Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, critical Let's Play. It's just that I haven't gotten around to it. So, we'll see what happens there. Um, but, maybe I'll start a Let's Play for this. But, yeah. Um, for Pokemon Sword. Now, for which starter I'm going to choose. This is a tough question. I like all three. They are all very cute, and I'm excited to see which one 
I will probably go for. The thing is that what I'm going to make the deciding factor is their Mega Evolutions. Right now, I'm kind of leaning more towards Score Bunny, mostly because I'm. What's weird is that I'm getting a Typhlosion vibe from it, which, if you guys don't know, Typhlosion is my favorite Pokemon. So, yeah. If if it looks as badass as Typhlosion, then I'm going with Score Bunny. Otherwise, I'll probably be going with Sorbel, unless Sorbel just looks like complete crap. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I do like, uh, like I've said, I I do like all these Pokemon. I'm not 100% certain what is going to be my main team, though. Uh, since I haven't really done much research into what is going to be, the, what are going to be the Pokemon in this game, I can't really say for a fact that, yes, this Pokemon is going to be my main team. I kind of want to say that that black bird that we see in the trailer, that's probably going to be in there. Um, if the sheep is anything like the Marie line, then I'm going to go for that as my uh, as one of my other Pokemon. Also, uh, also if it's um, similar to the other Pokemon, uh, the if it's one of the starting Pokemon, uh, like if it was if it's the Rattata of this generation, then I'll probably still go with it because I usually do go for a um, one, uh, I'll go for the starting flyer because they also they often look really good. And I often go for the um, starting Rattata Pokemon. But I don't know exactly which one is my favorite. Or what is going to be my full team. I do know that eventually I'll have the Sword Guy on my team. But that's late game. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be one of the uh, either Sorbol or, Fro uh, or um, Fennekin. Or not Fennekin. Sorbol or the... Or score bunny. I do like Grookey, but I, it's just not my cup of tea. I'm, I mean, obviously I'll probably get it eventually, but we'll see what happens. Uh, other than that, I don't really know. Now, one last thing before this video ends. Do I think that there is going to be a new evolution? Yes. I have said this multiple times that um. Uh, that the that even generations are always going to be the generations that will add at least one Pokemon that will evolve uh, that will evolve from something previous. They often do this by adding a um, uh, a new ev uh, evolution to Eevee. I don't know if it uh, which one it's going to be. I'm hoping for Dragon because I think that would look really badass. But I don't know. Prob uh, but I'm assuming that, it's good, uh, that if they're going to add any, it will probably be Dragon and mm, maybe maybe Fighting, maybe or maybe also Ghost. Ghost is also a possibility, but I don't want to say that for sure. Um. So we'll see what happens. Now as for other Pokemon that I would like to see get evolutions in this game, um, I can't really say for sure. I think that a lot of Pokemon do deserve evolutions. Um, I'm, I know that there are many fans that want certain, uh, a lot of older Pokemon that do not have evolutions at all to get evolutions. Um, one of the things that I do want to see is I want to see something that will be a connector evolution between a Lomomola and um, and Love Disc. We've all said multiple times that these Pokemon <laughs> look like they should have been evolutions of each other, but they aren't. So what I want to say is that. Um, Maybe there will be a new evolution, a new way to evolve things that can only be done, that the reason that nobody has seen it before is because it's rare, and so far we've only seen it in Galar. Or we'll only see it in Galar. And I would like that new evolution to be seen with the new evolution, 
as well as a few evolution, uh, a few Pokemon that look like they should have a middle, ev uh, some evolution tying them together. So, yeah. If you guys like this theory, then absolutely just leave a like, comment what you guys think for other Pokemon. So, what do you think I should do for other Pokemon videos? Um, tell me what you guys' favorite Pokemon or fa uh, or whatever you're going to do for uh, Sword or Shield and each of the three starters. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. But Don.